beautiful you're sitting up here. Isn't that amazing? Irving Mayor Rick Stouffer is getting an up-close view of progress on Irving's signature bridge. I'm really excited to see the Mustangs incorporated. The bridge spans State Highway 114 at the former site of Texas Stadium and other land ready for redevelopment. Really a connection that pulls the whole 400 acres together. His visit comes right after this milestone in construction. Crews with Irving-based Weber carefully lifted the bridge's truss into place. The process took more than 10 hours. The weight of the truss is about 330,000 pounds. So, of course, there's going to take a lot of work and engineering behind lifting something of that weight. Do you know what the weight of the beam was? Yes. Mayor Stouffer is always interested in transportation and infrastructure. You love all this stuff. I, I do. So he is learning all he can out here. What's really exciting to me is to be out here hands-on with the guys that are in the nuts and bolts of it all making it happen. But what interests him even more is what could be ahead for this property. So you see this as a big part of the city's future. Oh, yeah, this will be a key component of our growth and development and future tactics. That is why the city moved now, seeing some opportunity. A few years back, TxDOT demolished aging bridges across 114 and was due to replace them. Along with that, the city had money in a special fund made up of taxes paid on tickets and parking fees collected when Texas Stadium was open. We had the Brimer tax that was charged on the parking and the ticket. Those dollars could only be spent in this area. Those extra funds that the city could not have spent elsewhere are going towards some of the enhanced design features. What would have been a more basic bridge is now meant to be iconic. We have followed this project from the earliest days of construction and through long overnight paving operations. Now, what is next in construction? We are at the final stages of this signature bridge project. Once it is complete, the same team working on this bridge moves to the $350 million Irving Diamond Interchange project. That should take about four years. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. We started with the rail, we started with the roads, now we've got the bridge, now we're doing the intersection. When more of the infrastructure is complete, the city hopes to see interest in creating a transit-oriented development that will include opening the bridge and adding a dark light rail station. Over the years, we have seen some general visual ideas of what development could look like. Since we have the train and the trails and the, the roads that are available here, it really is going to have the ability to be a true TOD because you'll be able to live, work, and play here. So the challenge is how do we keep up with the market, how do we keep up with the changing times over the next two, three years, and how do we find that developer or developers that are willing to come and buy into the vision and move forward with it. So we're, we're talking a few years down the road before we actually can make some major announcements. Is that under contract or is that? No, we haven't started talking about that yet. As we tour more of the site, Mayor Stouffer gives credit to city leaders and others over the years who helped create this opportunity. This bridge is only one piece. Everything has to start. And he has big ideas about the impact of what will be here in the decades to come. And I know even at 65 years of age, I'm probably not going to live to see the real value that this all brings to the city of Irving. But just to see where we started, being able to see all these components coming together, it's, a, it's, a, it's fascinating. Thomas Gandy for City Source.